What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to another video and welcome to the channel. We are working on the Evo 9 motor again today. Uh, I'll link a video up top explaining why we're doing this or what caused us to have to do this. Um, but yeah, big issues, we're moving on, moving forward, and uh, we'll get this thing torn apart, we'll get it sent off, get it inspected, get it looked at, and go from there. So um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I wanna get the oil filter housing off of here. Uh, we're gonna send that off. The guys at B&M are gonna hook that thing up, make it look nice and new and restored. Um, and then we can just begin taking things off of here piece by piece. Um, <laughs> I'm still pretty nervous um, doing things like this in here because I don't really know what I'm doing in here. Um, but we're using lots of reference and all that kind of stuff to help guide us so we should be fine. So um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> no, it wasn't even tight. Ah, par for the course, par for the course. Ooh off you come, looky there. Whoopsies, we got oil, duh. Okay, let's see, let me just uh, take the old breaker bar. And huzzah. All right, I'm gonna just gonna go through real quick and loosen up all of these. And then I can use my, my ratchet after that. Oh, that's a different size. Probably not even supposed to be. <laughs> Ow, f Owie. All righty then, let's continue getting this stuff off. Oh boy. Why is that getting way, way tighter? Watch them have, uh, have just cross-threaded this stuff in there. This last shot. Oh God, that is tight. Why, oh boy, that doesn't sound good. It might be just an ass load of uh, RTV as well because they seem to love that stuff. I know you gotta put it in some places, but they put it absolutely everywhere. The threads don't seem messed up, so that's good. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, here we go. Oil baffle coming off. There's that. And then the final one right here. See that catch? <laughs> and there we have it. Just looking at the bottom of this thing here and this little baffle and just trying to see if I see any like metallics or whatnot in the, uh, in the oil, which maybe, I don't know. Anyway. Hello rods. <laughs> You're weird to look at. All right, next up, I would like to get this power steering. Uh, stuff off of here, so here we go. We get the heat shield off first. Whoopsies! We got a wire that held it on. Look at that. Sure, that's good for it. <laughs> now we will. Oops, I need a 14 for that. Some impact that is. Um, let's. Holy shit. I see now why I wouldn't do that. I think it's just this one that holds it on. Okay, so that didn't loosen it up at all. So that goes through the bottom. And then, what the F? These two here? Then this one? All right, I'm gonna put this back through real fast. Cause I don't think that one was the one that even releases it from the block. And then we can get these three off right here, and then this fourth one up top. And then that should release it from the motor thing here. There's one. There's one. There's the other. And then you, for some reason, are not a 14. Woo! And... Ooh, corrosion, love it. God, look at that. 
And then the two on the bottom. That should bring her down. Looky there. All right. <clears throat> now we just have the uh, the actual mount that goes onto the block. So we has a one, a two. <laughs> oh, hello. Your turn. And there we are. All those are loose. Oh wait, there's another one right here. On the top. Holy shit, that was on there. All right. Huzzah! Man, corrosion everywhere. Corrosion, corrosion, corrosion. I'm gonna order all new hardware for this thing, cause why not? Um, all right, boom, that's done. <laughs> All right, so next we just have, I think this is a 10, yep. Uh, we have this sensor here has to come off. Uh, we're gonna bend these little guys, get the wire out of there, and then I'm gonna grab a 10 real fast. Doink us. Boom. All right, uh, what next? We got, might as well get this thing off of here, um, and then we can get the water pump off after that, so. And then you slide right out of there, alrighty. All right, now I can get this main piece off of here after I get this idler pulley off of here. So let me do that next. Pulley is done. Now we should be able to get this thing off of here. So, let's get you off. Smash my finger. <laughs> Ta da! Okay, so I guess next is the uh, brand new water pipe that we just put on. Can I get that back off? Um, let's. Move you out of there. Brand new seals and whatnot in there as well. Um, I'm gonna get a bucket too. Taking off this water pump. Um, there shouldn't be anything in there because I've drained everything out, but just to be safe, I'm gonna get a bucket. <laughs> and here. And then get my bucket and prepare for leakage. Yep, it's starting to drip out the back here, so there probably will be some sort of leakage. Okay, it's getting super loose. All right, I'm gonna have to put the bucket down, take a risk here, and there it comes. All right, here we go. Off, off, perhaps. Might need to get my mallet because that is stuck on there. Let me tell you what what just fell over. Oh, socket. All right. Ugh. There we broke the seal. Just a little tappy tap with the mallet, and then out comes. Yeah, see bucket. <laughs> Bucket, bucket, and more bucket. Holy crap. Alrighty. A lot more than expected. Please hold. <laughs> Alrighty. We worked on getting this thing off. We just took a little hit it with the uh, impact. Got the uh, oil pump gear off of there. It looks like it has a flat spot, like it has to go a certain way. So that's, that's good to know. Um, there's a flat spot on top, and there's a flat spot inside of this thing. So that's that's pretty helpful. <laughs> so it'll only go on a certain way. Very nice. Now I just need to get off this crank gear, which I'm a little bit confused by. So give me a sec. <laughs> um, 
gonna try to get this because how am I gonna do this without it turning? You know what I mean? Um, maybe I don't know how to do this without it turning. All right, uh, sorry guys, I uh, was just testing it and I used my air gun and a uh, 22 millimeter uh, socket and um, it came right off. So I didn't expect it to work with like half the air in the tank. <laughs> I thought it would take a little bit more than that, but um, yeah, got it off of there and out this thing threads uh, like that. And then we slide this guy off just like that. And then this plate comes off. Everything has a guide, so that's super good. And just like that, we are, they put a spacer in there. Normally there's like a, for the balance shaft, there's like a, I've seen a gear behind it here, but that spacer seems to take the place of the gear since they did that. Interesting. Cool. Well, that's off. Okay, now I guess all that's left is this uh, front face plate and um, we will break all these free and get this off of here. I've put down my oil drain pan and some other things on the ground there because I just don't, I feel like it's gonna be a mess getting this off of here. All right, we got all these bolts loose and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, unthread these things and see what we got. I'm, I'm trying to lay these on the ground as they come off so I know which sizes and everything goes where. But I honestly, if you've watched my other videos, I honestly don't even trust uh, that this shop did that correctly. So I'm not sure what I'm trying to keep track of here, but all right, I think all of those are off of there now. So let's pull this off. Need my mallet. Break the seal. Very good. There is so much RTV on the back of this thing, so uh, we're gonna try to just pull this off as smoothly as possible. Um, there we go, it's coming. It's a coming, it's a coming. And we do have oil, so that's good. And there we go, the gasket is like stuck to the block. There we go. Good lord. All right, there's that. <laughs> All right, next, um, let's get the baggie off of here and let's get the head studs out and then we can continue after that. Some of these, that is just wildly high. Like, I feel like that should be down in there more. That, look at that. That is a full, Man, I tell you what, this place, none of these head studs are even, hardly. Um, just more stuff, you know, that you find. But we've already been through that. I can't get these four out of here. I don't have an Allen wrench. I'm, I'm assuming APR has their own proprietary tool that goes into that, but um, I can't seem to get it off of there. Man, the rust on this thing. Um, so I'm gonna have to look in my tool drawer and see if I can find the right, I, can, I don't have one anywhere that's fitting. It's so close. It's almost a five, but it's not really a five. And it's not a four, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I had to use a vise on these last four uh, head studs and ruin them. So yeah, just par for the course, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's, damn, of course that one's bigger. That on there, and then we go, huzzah, burger free. Just like that. Okay, so we officially have a bare ass block. I um, just never thought I would do this. So <laughs> it's kind of, a, kind of shocking to me, a little bit um, unnerving, uh, but we're there. There's nothing else left to take off. So um, all I gotta do now is get this block off of the stand, get it onto this pallet that I have over here. Don't mind the garage, it's an absolute mess right now. Um, but get the block onto the pallet, send it off, and then we just wait to hear back as to what's going on. So, um, yeah. 
And with all that being said, I think I'm going to end it off here. There's not much else to do, like I say, except putting the block onto the pallet, sending it off, and going from there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much. As always, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the process, the progress, and if you guys have any questions, drop those down there as well. Be glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever. And I'll see you next time when we're doing who knows what. We don't have a block anymore, so we'll have to go from there. So, <laughs> see you then. Bye.